What is up guys, welcome to episode 5 of the Unranked to Diamond series with Cassidy. We are currently in plat 2, almost plat 1, so we are getting there. And first matchup of the day is Syndra, and also keep in mind we're playing against the Zack, so he has some unique ways of ganking. Also the first game of the day, so I might be a bit rusty, but uh, Syndra matchup, pokes a lot early on. Same thing as usual, you just stay in back and last hitting with the Q. You're not really auto attacking unless she uses the Q on the wave. Like this. Then you can step up and auto attack. A Q this one because sometimes they like to play, say, Q just when you're walking up to last hit. Really depends on the player. So the main issue we can get here is that Trundle, if he snowballs out of control because. Our top laner picked on, which is really nice to have, like, it's amazing, I love it because of the item upgrade, but he's going to struggle against the Trundle later on. So if Trundle is allowed to get fed and go on a split pushing adventure, that's why we will have a very hard time, and also if Rakan dies right now. And about Syndra, so when she has level 2 and onwards, what you have to watch out for is the uh, QE. You can dodge that stun, then you're free to walk up and last it. And usually when she uses it is when um, you intentionally walk within the range. So you can actually bait it out. If she uses it like this, it's pretty bad. This stun. She needs to use it to, in order to get stacks. She needs to hit two abilities, then she gets stacks. She has 11 right now. But obviously a matchup you're going to outscale pretty hard so same thing again i'm gonna put a couple points into the queue first always nice to have i might reset actually i think i just stay because she does not have ignite if she had ignite i might have to reset because i can risk getting ganked by a sack just pinging them so they don't know extend too much That's not looking good, is it? Oh, it's maybe... Oh, okay. Okay. Right, so getting boots. Is that not... Oh, my days. I have a good team. What's going on? Watch out for the Sundra. She's probably moving towards them. No, mind she's not. The boots, as I said, in these heavy skill shot matchups. It'll do a lot. And usually if you're playing a mage against a Syndra or a LeBlanc, Ari, and stuff like that, what you should do is that you try to get boots early on. Because it helps you uh, dodge stuff a lot easier. I'm a bit rusty right now because it's the first game of the day, but getting mercs is another good thing, especially if they have a lot of AP. Oh, bot lane's not doing too good. There's a sack. Right. So I think we just back off here. Normally she should not be allowed to do this, you know, she's just staying at my tower, but our jungle is not focused on helping us at all, so in that case, we will just reset. And I think I'm gonna go for Rod of Ages here. I think I could really use the tankiness. And it's on the latest patch, so this is 14.6 or something, and it means that they nerfed a lot of the burst damage, which is good for Cassidy. Because there was a lot of burst damage, it meant that people just snowballed really hard. And you know, you don't want that as a skill champ, so this patch, I feel like it's pretty good.
this out of mana. But if she's staying, it might mean somebody shares against the sack. He wants a ward like this. No. And you do that because he has a unique way of ganking. He does not need to walk into the brush in order to gank you. Using a fully stacked, almost fully stacked ults. And rest out of mana and they're forcing a fight. Well, I think this build is even better when the AD carry is getting fed. Go ahead and reset. I had a feeling this guy was a bit drunk picking uh, Rakan with the Jinx. Like she's some sort of engaged champ. It's obviously pretty bad. Looking at our top, who's doing uh, well for himself. Alright. Okay, so the thing here is that um, if you can time your ultimate when she's throwing out the Q. Then you're gonna dodge that stun and then you can just engage straight up. But key thing about Syndra is that that E she has, that is the main self peel. She has nothing else. Could be fine. Okay, he, he's good. Nice. So we're gonna push this out. Don't have any AP, so it's gonna take a while, sadly, but... When you get level 6, it becomes, you know, it's still difficult because she has the ults. But it becomes easier in the sense that you can actually engage onto her if she makes a mistake. You could not do that previously. missed that one. Nice, and the flash is out. Good. Oh, my entire bot lands here. He yeah, dodged the E like this. That's what you have to focus on. So if she steps up, might be able to engage, but at the same time, the sack could also be here. Keep an eye on your ultimate stacks, really important. If I engage right here, I will be taking a lot of damage from the minions. Back is here. Decent is not here as usual, so I'm just gonna stay back even though I could probably get a kill right now. Sunra is all about dodging that E, and if you do that, that's your opportunity to be able to trade back. Honestly, a bit disgusting, Lisa is allowing her to do this with no flash up. He has no flash. That's not fine, I just let him die. He is terrible. We have CP. We'll just reset and then CP back, so that's fine that way. So we just have to wait until we get an opportunity ourselves. We we can't do much in this case. The jungler is pretty disgusting to watch. So he had to try to steal 
Oh, he has no TP. He did a good gank, to be honest. He actually did a really good gank with a good ult. But if your jungler is not taking advantage of the opponent not having flash, which is going to happen a lot, you just have to wait. Like, honestly, nothing else you could do. How she begins spamming her abilities. And because the first upgrade is going to allow her to get two Qs. Now she used the E guys, so it's a chance for you to engage. But we don't see the enemy jungle, we don't see the enemy bot. Okay, good. It's how easy it is, you know, if they step up and you're playing jungle guys, it's really free. It's so free. But you know, I can't expect everybody to uh, notice that. Um, but it gets better as you start climbing. Right, so we have the Rod of Ages, so we're gonna start scaling up. Getting this, of course, and then Archangels next. I, I would buy the boots straight up if I could afford it. Also, I like to go for tenacity in the runes. Okay, you got one. I really don't know how worth it it is, but you got one of these, and Jinx is about to uh, go down once again. So if you are going for the other build, you know, then you'll be able to like engage all the time on Sunra. Because you have super low cooldown on the ult and a lot of damage, but you don't have the tankiness. So that's what you're giving up on. Look at how much she's spamming, yikes. And she's missing like what, 70-80% of her stuff, but... She's at the part where she's really strong. The fruit, and we don't see the bot lane, we don't see the jungle, we don't see the top, we see no one. So if we engage right now, there'll be grief. Because they could be here. Eason is coming. I hope he's not going to kick her into me, though. Uh Be pretty special of him to do. Wow. They actually engage without anyone. Well, that was a pretty awful one. They think they can uh, take out the AD carry. That's sitting on six kills. Okay. Okay, so it's definitely going to be a rough game, I think. But we are okay mid. And you know, it's all about getting us to that late game stage. Nice. One. And I assume they will start getting a lot of MR. Because I'm the only one who is getting uh, fed. Just Wing him to get some mana back. Why did he exhaust what? I think that was not necessary, but nice. I think uh, Lee Sin got the shutdown, that's good. Bot, so they can farm the site and I'm gonna TP here in case they need help with the rake. But see like some matchups even though they are relatively easy like the Sundra 
It can still be really annoying if they are allowed to just perma poke, and normally they are not because they have to be scared of enemy jungle ganks, but if your jungler does not gank, for example he's focusing on other lanes and such. Come on, listen. Ooh, such a beautiful engage. But he stole the kill. Really dump. Already stole the shutdown. What the hell? They have a Herald. I don't think he'll use it here, will he? Oh my god. This guy is just TPing and giving up everything topside. I have to go and defend, I guess. We're losing another tower. This is why I really hate playing against split pushing top laners because my top laners have no clue what to do about it. So they're just allowed to get free towers. Like this one, because this guy TP'd without fixing the wave. So now we have to deal with a trundle who can threaten our tower at all times. Base tower. So if you guys, you know, wondering why I try to dodge when I play against split pushers, because of my players. We don't know how to deal with it. Can have a transformed. I can just as soon as we uh, base and buy it. It's going to be needed a lot. And I don't need mercs here, guys. I have tenacity in the runes. You know, I always buy these boots whenever I can, because they're just better. And at some point, people will re realize they're actually really OP and then probably will get nerfed. But until that, we're fine. I think I want to push out another way, but Trundle might be bot side. Against their comp, I need Sonya's. I cannot engage into this because she's very strong. In melee range, she has exhaust, and if she ults me, it's going to be a disaster. So I am not even thinking about getting the Magi's. I want to get Sonya's as fast as possible. They should not be up there. They don't have any vision. It's a mistake to be up here because I could engage from any position. Just need to not fight. Let us scale up. Let the Jinx scale up. Let me scale up. Let the On get his levels. I'm not sure when he can upgrade. I think it's about 13 or 14. Good thing he went for the wreck lane. Good. They managed to disengage. Some people think I'm just engaging when I walk in and poke. That is obviously not the gold. Should not be grouped right now, I actually want to go top. And CP when it's needed. Bro, can you just say what? Like what? Hello? Yeah, no vision on this one. We might even have to give up the dragon, which is fine. Alright, if we give up that one, because we already secure one, so it's gonna take a while before they get to uh, the soul point. The sack and the support. The AD carry is most likely there as well. They just have to not fight. And yes, they will probably get caught. It happens all the time in soul queue. Alright, so we got one. Okay, the AD carries here. 
Psyche said the Drake. I'm thinking about TPing because the AD carry was topside, but they're not there fast enough. I'll CP anyways. We're engaging on the support. You got the Drake? Okay. That's fine. That was worth it. And the only reason I decided to CP was because I saw the AD carry go on top. If she was not, we would lose this fight for sure. I got the flash out of the Sundra as well, so I know that she does not have this one for the next fight. Okay, a sack flash also used. I have the stopwatch here, so it's like one time Sonya's, which is fine. Well, you should not have done that. Now I can't go bot because they're gonna threaten the Baron, I think. I'll still go anyways, I'm almost 16. Almost 16. Ooh, they started it. And AD carry is not helping. What is the AD carry doing? Like what? Honda's not there. Okay, honest recalling, that's good. Perfect. So I got 16, I'm just straight up engaging onto the backline, and Rakan had a pretty good combo. We didn't even have to use the own ults. So this was a nice engage, you know. Even if you are behind or something. Team wise, if you have a good team fighting come, like we have right here with the Rakan, who has an insane engage potential onto immobile come pretty much. Just gotta wait. We also have the on ult, which we did not have to use, I think. That would have also been sick. Now that we are 16, we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and reset so I can get a... Actually, wait, I'll wait so I can buy the Sonya straight up. Gonna clear this out. Also getting item upgrade, wow, that's gonna be so OP. Okay. Resetting, getting the Sonyas. Now my goal guys. I'm gonna go for the AD carry if possible. And the Sundra, right? The carries. We wipe out the carries, they have no damage left, and then my AD carry can do the rest. My goal right now is to not get stunned, so I would need to get it from from the sides. I'll go top. We need to engage from the sides. They need to not be there alone. I am 17 and Sunra is 14. I'm gonna use the sweeper right here so I can see if Trondal is close. He's gonna steal resistance if he ults you. So gonna be a lot of squishy and fights if he decides to um, ult you just before you engage. Gonna wait for the ultimate stack to go down. So they could be here. I'm just gonna back off because I don't see anyone. And of course it's a fit castle in, so they might move towards me. Not gonna use too many ultimate stacks. No one's here. I think I might go for the Syndra. No 
Nice. Not nice. Okay. Always keep an eye on the ultimate stacks you have, guys. Who has Kama? Lady Carry. So if I sit in the bushes, I just sit and stack up the ults because they're gonna exhaust me after I engage. But that first time engaged, they are not exhausting that. Good job. Nice plate. Rakan did the right thing. I had CP so I can go ahead and recall and then I'll CP back. I need MR. Yep, AD carry is starting to buy MR. So this is a good sign of when you need to buy Magic Pen. I don't care if it's only the Psych, right? Because you're not going to focus him anyways and your AD carry can deal with that. Most likely because he's going to engage. You care about buying Magic Pen if the targets that you're going to focus in fights are buying MR. He's buying what I assume is a Hex Drinker. Mama is coming. Can re-engage if she's stepping up. She might queue the side. Does he have? He ulted me. That's good. He does not have this for the on, but you see how much tanky he just becomes out of nowhere. Be really careful of engaging just straight up. I'm gonna recall here because seems like I might have the TP. I'm gonna stop him from this AFK split pushing. Oh, that's looking really good. That's actually looking really good. That was obviously a pretty free TP. And you know, when you're going for these tower dives, just wait for your uh, teammates to tank before you damage. Just stood and waited until somebody was taking the aggro. And after this, we should be plat 1. But we already uh, in Emerald MMR, so I think that's like mid-high Emerald, so pretty much in Diamond, almost. It's just end, I really CPA wasting time like this. GG's for the first game. Victory. Welcome back to the next game guys. So I already played a game but I just found out that it was apparently not recording. It was a really good game though so it really sucks that I did not get that on video. But if you really want to see it of course you can look um, in the replays. You just will not have my uh, commentary. It seems like this is a Phil Sticks mid. No, is that not, uh, I don't know. Thought you were supposed to have Conqueror, it's fine. So, let's turn off the chat. And Phil Stakes, honestly, it's not, it's something I see maybe what, once or twice a year. But the thing here is that, um, I guess he's just gonna FK push and then try to roam with his ult. And your Q can cancelling channeling abilities means that when he is draining, then you can use your Q and it's going to cancel it out. That's one thing. Another thing, you can also do it when he's channeling his ultimate, then you can also do it, but here yeah, you had to react pretty fast because uh, it's similar to like Twisted Fate ultimate. If you're not within range when he's about to channel, or at least close to, then you'll not make it in time. But yeah, it's a matchup you don't really see very often mid. I have seen a couple of Phil Stakes mid players in higher elo. 
He's just gonna push. I'm pretty sure. Oh, what's happening? To Wait, what? Just lagged? Oh, my mouse went to the other screen, so I just ran into him? Like, what? And the thing here is that he has this sort of like detonation, I believe, at the end of the channel time. So, of course, you can walk out of range, but if you're not able to do that, then you would have to queue him. And I made a mistake queuing him too early on because you want to save it to cancel the channel. That's why I think he's saving his Q, a drain. His W, I think it was. He has a ridiculous amount of sustain, so that's really no point in trying to poke. You just want to save it to cancel channeling so he doesn't get to push as fast. Right now he's using it because I used my Q, but I of course also need to use it to last it. So this is how it cancelled out. He has TP so we're good. And he has a lot of CC. And as you guys may know, I already go for tenacity in the runes. So I don't need to go for mercs, but it can certainly help. Like, it could definitely help. You see, he's not using his drain on to use my... Uh, because he knows he's going to cancel. And there's not really any kill pressure in this matchup. So, I can go for Dark Seal. Because Phil Stakes, you know, it's when he gets his ultimate, or if he plays with something like Ignite, Electrocute, then you, you know he's about to do stuff. Otherwise, don't have to worry too much, and now he's out of mana. Normally, I'll get an auto tag in, but he was about to get his fear, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna start draining. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Oh my god, did he try to bait me? Decent can still engage from the side. But I actually want to get this. I think I just back off here. I'm gonna ping our um, top laner that Lee Sin is top side. And he is backing off, luckily. He should be fine. I'm gonna get the tail. And yeah, we're gonna go for this build that new item. I'm still not sure how we are supposed to pronounce it, so I'll just call it the new item for now. Malignance? Something like that? Right, three points into the queue, and then we start maxing the E. Not to like the last couple of games. He's not using his drain until either he CCs me, or I use my Q on the minions, that's why I'm not using it to poke him right now. I'm just using the other abilities. But he's stealing for a lot more as you can see. The main thing about Phil Sticks, what you have to watch out for is his level 6. So if he's out of vision... Then you have to be careful. Because he could be ulting from any side. He does not have any pots left, so it has to be drained with his uh, W. I think it is his W. Q should be that fear thing. If I'm level 6, I can flash him, but he can CC me and then flash away as well. Warding on this side is good. I want to do against the fill stakes. Another thing is that his vision things he can use, they are going to give him vision of the ward, so that's how he was able to take out my ward right here. But this guy was way too low, so that was a pretty easy fight. Plus, we'll take easy fights. You don't need to buy anti-healing. 
It can be a good thing if they have a ton of healing. Listen heals a lot, Aatrox does as well, but it's not my job. A AD carry can buy anti-healing, car 6 can do so. We are going to cancel out his healing anyways with the Q. So we are good on that part. So ping it when he is level 6. Really important. And you need tenacity against the fill sticks. If you don't have tenacity in the rooms like I do, then you need mercs. Wait for that silence. There it is. I used the Q at the end to stop his healing. He's in the spot side, so I can just go ham. If he tries to last hit this one with the silence, you're gonna go in. Alright. Great short trades like this where I don't allow him to heal too much. I'm gonna cue him once again if he tries to uh, rain. Gonna help. Help the Kha'Zix. Those six comes, I'm gonna keep an eye on this guy. Good thing I got a kill off of this as well. He should be able to do this pretty easily, I think. I'm just gonna stay here and make sure he does not roam towards him. So yeah. Lee Sin could be coming from top side or actually bot side jungle because of his blue buff being up. I'm gonna greet anyways, I'm dead if he's here. Don't greet like me, especially not if you have Dark Seal. I might even go bot actually. He's here. So don't, the greet I did, do not do it guys, but it means that I'll be getting this item. And it is showtime. Not looking good. Oh, okay, he's surviving. Nice. But why is he staying? He can TP back. Oh mind, it's half a minute. I thought it was like what, 15 seconds? It's just gonna die too. Ooh. Just got two kills off of a room. Happens. I guess he used the salt. I hope he did. My ultimate has too many stacks. I'll not be able to use it too much. If Lee Sin or someone else is here, I'm gonna move towards the uh, Void Crops to help Kha'Zix if he's there. Not yet. I really hope he ulted bot, because otherwise he's gonna get a good ult on the Kha'Zix. You can also W this one, I believe you get the full mana, because it's it counts as a champ. If you're lacking mana, you know, that's a good thing. No. Also like Sheku clone and stuff, it should give you the full mana. Unless they change the coding so it does not count as a champion anymore, but it should. Beautiful. I'm gonna save the Q to uh, be annoying. His brain. Yeah. 
I mean, you should not underestimate the damage Kassadin has when he's going for this early item. I can go for Medias here, he'll be a fine game to do so. And when it is fully stacked anyways, then why not? I'm probably gonna sacrifice boots. It's hook. Giving up. I think I need to TP. They're yeah, winning this one, so I'm just gonna keep it. Oh no, my the whole gang is coming. <laughs> Insta exhaust, wow. I use this one just to make them disengage. That's fine. All good. And we're gonna probably pop this one. They can see the Lee Sin. Still sticks altered, he also TP'd. But he is having absolutely nothing now right now. We're gonna push this out, no mind. Of course you had to play a lot more careful, but that can be another benefit of having the Magi's is that it forces you to play smarter. Because if you just constantly run in like a nape without thinking about when you can do so or not, you're gonna get punished big time, losing a lot of stacks. I'm hovering this side because he could be up here. Is Kha'Zix getting the, uh, the what? The sword, yeah. Where's the fill sticks? Did he just give up? Oh, she just had to not hit him. The tower would not aggro. But he's topside, okay. Go for the Lux. Is this warded? Yeah. Well, they got the Scion. This is not AFK. You also see this happening sometimes, is that when the opponent cannot lane against you anymore, they just try to roam a lot and they try to pressure the other sides, you know, getting leads that way or trying to tilt somebody and make them go AFK. It works. Sometimes. Most of the time it should not. But it's the last resort type of thing. Not gonna engage obviously because of the Aatrox. I place a ward here, back to Wakeling. Yeah, good CS and he's gonna destroy us, he's going full AD. Alright, let's back off. Still have not bought boots, but it's because I'm having, you know, a great amount of gold where I can just buy something that's better. It allows me to get closer to the big items. Ooh, rip car 6. Thanking the big procs. Let's see if he keeps pushing. He might, because he thinks I'm not here. Oh, looks like he's not. I'm not gonna chase, I'm gonna take this way instead. He could be over here. So it's really important when you play against the fill stakes, you need to ward the corners. Like when you play against assassins who can engage from the sides and stuff, warding the corners and they will not be able to engage as easily. I thought about flashing him and then I said no.
not going to happen. Get the listen. Who's that? Is that Aatrox or is the Phil Sticks? He's so mad. <laughs> He's so mad. I can't TP back, so I don't mind. He did not go in. This guy waited way too long. I'm never trusting these guys again. That was way too dumb. I could also just not follow his call. And recall. I decided to trust the solo queue player for once and look what happened. Never trust guys. Only do what you think is smart. And it also has to be logical of course. rip my stacks it's not going to do that much to be honest because i already have the uh, main items and you can get it stacked up pretty fast because you're already fed i couldn't go in from the sides here because he might be around there's a ward here If he's stepping up, will he step up or will he not? That's the question. I don't think he will. There he is. Atrox is coming in, so I had to peace out. I cannot afford to tank this yet. I like the shot down on the Lee Sin actually. He's not jumping. Oh, there's no shot down, what? Who was on a rampage? The Aatrox? You see, you're playing Castle and at this stage you cannot just go in. You're really squishy. Extremely squishy, so I have to be really careful because the moment I go in, everybody gonna change the focus to me. That's why I did not just jump in, because I would die. It'd be really dumb of me to do. Nice. Beautiful. Cool. We already got a couple stacks back from the major, so it's not too bad, guys. Yes, we're gonna delay the boots once more because I can get the Seekers. And it can help me big time against their comp. So it's probably the only game where I delay, delay boots so much, but it's because like every single base I have is pretty awkward. And I can go straight for the Misfortune. I don't have vision if they use the Q like this. I'm gonna slow him and not walk within range yet. Fine, don't know extend too much. I have many stacks on the alts. And I'm gonna steal from that side. Right. You don't have presence of mind, you'll not be able to do this because you suddenly have no mana left. It's too important, that rune. I always make sure to have it. If I had to sacrifice ultimate hunter presence of mind, it's always going to be ultimate hunter. But both of them are really important. I can't do much on the Baron anyway, so I'm just gonna stay here and try to zone people away. Especially the field sticks if he's looking to ult. But, they fine.
Oh my god, what? Oh my god, I'm such an ape. Oh, she actually flashed out, my bad. <laughs> oh my days, I, th I thought it was going to hit the tower, but I just went straight through and died. Nice. Yes, going to delay it once more because I will have enough for Sonya, so this is probably going to be a game without tier 2 boots. Can we get a tower somewhere? I guess not. Last shot. Oh, really? Exhaust? Okay, now I have enough. This crank did still not come, I don't know what he was doing. Was he on the Aatrox? I don't know. But at least we have the Sonyas now. And that is pretty dumb. But my team is winning, so we can afford these mistakes. It would be something else if we were behind or even. I would not be doing this. But I mean, this game is won. There's no way we're going to lose this, so... Yep. Yeah. Now see why I really like to go electrocute, you know, if you look up websites where it shows what's most popular and stuff in different ranks, it's always first strike. But I'm not following everybody else. That's also why I'm out climbing, you know, and playing better than most people. And also being rank 1 is that I use what works the best for me. I don't just use something because it's on a website. An electrocute gives you the most pressure early on, and if you're going for the kills in the landing phase, which you can do in, you know, silver, gold, plat, emerald, and even low diamond, electrocute is your best shot. I just want the blue. And finally, we will officially have tier 2 boots 25 minutes in the game. And what will it be? It's just going to be cooldown reduction because, as I said, we already have tenacity. Do something else if they had an AP jungle as well right now, then I would have went for mercs. Gives a bit more tenacity, and you also get MR, which helps. Just two AP champs and. They are really far behind, so we don't care. We're gonna get the soul, and then I assume we will be ending. My job right now would just be to stop Phil Stakes from being able to get insane engage. That's the only way they can like, get kills onto us if they um, manage to catch us in some weird way. I'm just gonna push it up for the 16. Not giving me solo XP. Alright, we're going for it. Where's the fill sticks? He's up there. Just keep an eye on the champs who can engage. Now I use my Q, right? So he, he could be looking to engage. But we are 16. Is he gonna ult? He's not doing it, so GG's. And let's take the next one.
Welcome to the third game and seems like we're playing against Sway and they have 3 AP. Actually, Seri also deals a lot of magic damage so this is a game where you can go for Mercury Treads because you also get some MR and also that tenacity. Even though it does not scale up with Legend tenacity the same way you want it to, it still helps. So um, he pokes a lot. So I think I just go with Dorna String. Yeah. Dark Seal is also fine, but let's just do this for now. And you can still go for this normal build with this one. Still not sure how to pronounce it. Is that malignance? Malignance or something like that? I don't know. But it's ideal into like super squishy comb like this. And also allows you to have a bit of pressure early on so you can help Rek'Sai. And Rek'Sai will of course be winning against the Evelyn or he should be winning. She should be winning. But you never know what's going to happen in solo queue. Okay, wait, he usually starts the queue I think. Um, so that means that he can poke already from level 1. And his abilities are massive AoE. Same thing, staying behind minions. Especially if he does the QQ, it's a really fast one. So you don't really get to dodge it, you have to see it coming before he uses it. I'd use it right here. Oh, he's not, he's really patient, okay. Not sure what he started either. He's still not using anything. And this is high emerald or something like that, guys. Even though I am platinum 1, um, this ranking system is based on MMR, so I'm playing against, you know, people who are way higher rank compared to what I am currently on this account. That's nice to see. Always slow to have the split pusher winning. So this ability he uses right here makes his auto attack steal bonus damage and then he also gets mana back. You get, keep getting hit by this one. Oh, he has the fear up now. We're not gonna chase him. Ooh, okay, he's gonna flash over. That's fine. Good one. That means the Rek'Sai can just gang afterwards. So it's always worth it for Rek'Sai to trade flashes with an immobile mage. So you have to be careful of double procs on his abilities. So if you get hit by two damaging abilities, you're gonna proc his passive that also deals damage after a short amount of time. So that's number one. Second thing is that stay behind minions obviously because of his AoE damage, but don't ride behind the minions. You stay right behind, you still get hit by the AoE. And another thing here is that he does not have any mobility. He has something that gives him bonus movement speed, but it doesn't really count. When you're engaging onto him, you have to focus on dodging his peeling ability, his CC. Just has to get out. Fine. Leveling going for the other skull crab. He also started with a tear, so that's why he doesn't have pressure. See, you get hit by two, then you spawn this uh, circle right below that also deals AoE damage after a short amount of time. So avoiding getting hit by two abilities, and then if you're going to engage, you have to dodge this one peeling ability that he's going to have. Unfortunate. I knew she was going to go by, that's why I pinged and hopefully they are able to move. I'm gonna walk back a bit so Rek'Sai can come in, he's engaging too early once again. Not patient enough. He just saw him up here because he got spotted by a ward, then he cleared that one out and it's obvious that he's going to play safe for a while. If you wait a little bit, we'd have been fine. So see, when he uses that one CC ability he has, he cannot use it again after a while, for a while. So that's when you're looking to engage if you're going to do something. Either it's going to be a fear or it's going to be that ability that drags you in like you used just before. 
This circle below means that if you get hit by another ability, it's gonna proc his passive, like I told you guys about. This is what he uses to wake play, it deals damage over time as well. Just helping him push, I guess. Okay, so he has his ultimate now. It is a skill shot as well, by the way. Also deals a ton of damage if you get a hit. Beautiful. Good. That's a good gang from the Nami. If I could push this in time, then I don't have to TP back. That's why I'm trying to uh, fix this wave. Ooh, AD carry getting dove. And walk all the way back so I don't get hit by poke. So he has a long range ability. And if you're low HP, it hurts a lot. And it comes out pretty fast, so he can use this to snipe you with. To stop you from recalling and stuff like that. So keep that in mind as well. I have to TP because he needs help. Wait, where is he? He walked back? Okay, he's here. I don't see the top, so I'm not gonna ult in. That would be troll. Also, don't see Evelyn. Yes, yeah, so if you're going to engage, wait for him to use that one CC ability he has. This is the damage part. This is the utility part. This is the CC right here. Nice. Good job, Nami. And you see, this is a lot of AoE damage. Of course, it's going to be a lot more later on. This Nami is playing really well. If you guys are playing support, this is how you had to do uh, on that role. It's why it's one of the best roles for solo queue because. People think it's weak because they don't abuse the roaming potential of this role. Try to take ultimate out. Not ulting what? <laughs> What's this guy doing? Maybe he thought I did not have enough damage? I'm gonna recall over here. He's moving, then I can help. He's gonna vote. This is the CC part right here. You dodge that one, then you're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna use this chance to push. Just gave up pressure of the wave. I'm gonna recall over here because of Evelyn, she is level 6. So now, as I said in the previous videos, if you want to ward against Evelyn, the way you do it is by warding the jungle camps. I'm gonna get the lens here because normal wards are not going to help against the Evelyn anymore. If she's going somewhere, it has to be bot right now. Lost that cannon. They're playing too far up. It's actually really free. If Evelyn spot right now, it'll be correct. I think I'll place a ward up here. Then I can hover my bot. If she is here, then I can help and counter gank. We don't see her yet. Maybe this ward helps. But she's probably going to go this way around. Well, they die anyways. This is the CC. Building could be here, so I should not be engaging. There she is. She got spotted. Of course, she can place the wards a lot better, so she doesn't insta-take it, but... At least we know she's close now. But just have to not step up. But this gem has a lot of poke and a lot of burst damage. But his self peel is that one time use of his ability. So if you dodge that, then you can engage if you don't care about his damage. 
not going to out damage a Kassadin in a straight up one versus one. Given that we are even. Evelyn could also be top for sure. Alright, let's get this item. Never mind, we are Oh, that's nice. That's actually really nice. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, that's a good exhaust. She would have to ult out now. Getting two plates. I'm now walking within range so I don't get ulted. Now I can go in. Such a nice bubble as well. That's Nami's playing insane. And Evelyn's alive, so I'm just gonna take this and then I'll peace out. So this ability used right here, the one that drags people in, that's another CC ability. So if he uses that one, he cannot use the one with the fear. It's just one CC ability you have to worry about. Once that's gone, you are free to engage. But during extended fights, he can of course use his CC multiple times. But in an all-in, he pretty much just only has it once because he does not have low cooldowns yet. Have to ping his flash Darius so Fiora knows. I dodged someone right. I, I actually didn't dodge it, he hit the minions. And then you just go in. He has no self peel after this. He can just speed himself up, but that's not going to help. Evelyn could be here, doesn't really matter. I can pop the sweeper or the lens. There she is. I can. Oh, never mind. If there was a minion right here, I would walk in. I would ult, but I would not ult on top of her. He's so tilted. And Ami is at the right place at the right time once again. Evelyn should be healed up right now, but I had Nami with me so I can push and get the last plate. Did this ward get spotted, no? Yes. You see the Evelyn. Enemy killing spree. Zarya should be really OP right now. I don't know if it's because she got buffed. But everybody wants to play her suddenly. I guess Nami just left the AD carry because uh, she's terrible. As long as she doesn't tilt, be fine if she tilts. Not good. But the rest of us are winning, so she just has to not, you know, die too much. I'm level 11, once again delaying the boots a bit because I could afford this by selling the Doran's Ring. I assume Zeri is gonna commit. The only go spot it would be a mistake because Kaylin is not worth anything. This has uh, 0 and 6. That's gonna give us a free. His bot. Ooh! Oh, she even flashed what? She flashed for the Kate? Oh my god, okay, that's my bad. Oh, I am so dumb. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm losing a tower for it. Oh, right here, so you could Q forward and then W to CC. I 
and Zyra. That's so dumb of me. Helen should go mid. He's not going mid, I guess she's tilted, so I'll just TP him. I could take him out if I TP, but, but I'm not gonna... Sha, a massive wave, and lose XP everywhere. And they might even be able to get this tower then. I like this blue, thank you very much. They're still staying, it sucks. I actually really want to go bot, so Kaelin can farm it. But I guess uh, she's all on a tilt streak. Plus Wei cannot survive against me. He cannot even show himself in the sidelines. And you know, I'm also getting a lot of free XP and gold that way. And we got the tower at least. If we can chase the Wei. Wait, was it lagging? I feel like it really is lacking. That's why I wait with the um, ultimate. Because I know he's going to fly, so you can just wait a little bit. See, there's a, like a small arrow when the charm fully forms. The icon, I mean. Then there'll be an arrow that shows in which direction she's at. Oh, I'm doing the same thing again. What am I doing? But what is that damage as well? Yikes, man. It's so fat. I'm not respecting that uh, at all. I'm just getting hit by one root and then I just get insta bursted. Good Nami ults. Really good ults. Rek'Sai should have knocked up. Let's just take the Drake. Oof, damage. If she had Dobby, I'm sure she would have engaged. It's looking a bit too greedy, but we're getting the Drake? Okay, that's fine. Well, I don't think I can deal with the Darius. He just gets a fully stacked passive, which takes no time for him to do, then... What a lose. That's how it goes for Cassidy and into AD champs, usually. Even if you are fed early on, it's not enough. Unless he's under the tower. He goes under the tower, looks like he won't. The Q. Did I actually queue the wrong target as well? We oh, gotta kill this way. It's great, I don't see the Evelyn. Evelyn alone should not be a problem, but if Sari and the rest comes, it will be, because I'm getting one shot. We see them once again. No flash on the Zeri. She's really hard to chase, by the way. Because of the mobility she has. And she's also damaging while running away, so you can't afford to... What is this guy? Wait, what? Oh. That is going complete ham. Dora is scaling up. Insanely well. No flash on the Zeri. I can stack up my ults. Um. Good. Good stuff. I think I can just go topside. Oh, there's an Evelyn. It's not escaping that, right? But so. And the most important thing here is that Kaelin is not trolling. She's still trying. Even though she's 1 and 7. Of course, I don't know if she's typing because I muted everybody, but... He's playing and that's what matters for us. We 
We want to reset. I'm gonna clear out the jungle camps if there's anything left. Oh, everything is cleared. The wave. Okay, Caitlyn's leaving me with a wave, that's good. Macassadin after all, no point taking anything away from Macassadin. Just like that late game insurance, insurance you have. Even if something goes wrong, as long as you let him scale up, he will be able to do stuff. Let's pick up another one. much do we need? Okay, we might as well stay on so we can afford the entire item. Alien just has to hold and it should be pretty easy as long as she doesn't tank everything like she's doing right now. Okay. They're fighting. I'm gonna recall so I can TP. This is what she had to do. Like before in the Syrah is guaranteed TC. I don't have to TPS of yet, so I'm just gonna run top side once again. I might go bot if Darius keeps pushing. I guess I just go mid to bot. Okay, they're gonna try to collapse on the Zeri, but she has flash up now, I think. And she's so hard to chase. And she died, nice. Done. Up this one so I cannot get ulted. They got the Zeri, so they have nothing left, and we can just go ahead. Push it. Evelyn also used the ultimate, I think, so I should not be that much in danger. I'm gonna push top side. Are they gonna end? I guess they're ending. Then I should have helped. Yeah, I did not think they would go for that, but okay, nice. I should have helped then. My bad. My bad. Ooh. Nice one. I'm gonna slow her a little bit. Fine. Now I, I have to be careful. I can CP to the Drake. Pretty sure she should be doing this right now. Get there. Oh, she left. She knows. I have fully stacked all so I can blast someone, but I don't have Sonya's. Syrah Syra probably watered this side. I think she's over here. Poking a little bit, and then we just go back. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Wow. <laughs> He's pinging the Caitlyn. <laughs> I don't think she was even there. Okay, coming again. Wait, why is she... Wait, 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 what? Why is she doing the Drake? Wait, why did we do this, by the way? I should have let her die. Why did Caitlyn keep hitting the Drake? What? Watch out for the Syra behind. They can stop the uh, Baron at them. That would be nice, but I don't think so. Yeah, they're backing off. They're scared of the backdooring. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Good, good one. So we just need to let Fiora go to the sides and then we don't fight for no reason. Be nice if I could have fought another large rod, but it's too much time to be waiting. I think it's better if you have Fiora in the silence pressuring for that um, base when they don't have a tower left. We want Fiora tower, but honestly, bot is better. Be careful of the AoE. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a bit too much. Let's take out the alien ults. An ult, waiting for that one. There we go. This area too. Nice. Should be GG's. Let's just go and end, guys. This game really well played by the Nami as well. So that's it for this episode, guys. We're almost in Emerald, so Diamond is really close. See you all in the next one.